Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 13th of June 2025. I've just realised it's Friday the 13th and one person in my life will be telling me I ought to beware of uh, bad luck or dangerous situations or something and I always point out the fact that statistically uh, Friday the 13th is no greater or lesser danger of, of bad things happening than any other day than uh, you know, Wednesday the 15th or Monday the 9th or anything else like that, of course, to make any difference. But, um, you know, some people, well, they just have this kind of nonsensical superstitious beliefs and and we love them anyway, right? <laughs> we just go, okay, okay, and just ignore. Um, uh, what's going on in the world? Um, of course... Uh, the I mentioned in yet last night's video the uh, horrific plane crash which happened on Thursday the 12th there we are not Friday the 13th uh, but one person managed to survive um, amazingly um, but only unfortunately just one person that's a horrific tragedy so the um, um, I, uh, investigations are, are beginning now properly uh, no idea still of course no i no idea about what's happening but they have discovered uh, one of the black boxes uh, i believe so that's something um what else is going on in the world uh when trump was first uh president he tore up the iea he tore up the agreement between iran and the rest of the world about its nuclear ambitions which had been working quite well not perfectly but definitely going much better than after he decided to rip it up and let Iran do whatever they wanted to do because that's what happened. Uh, of course, Trump hated it because it was signed by Obama and uh, everything that was done by Obama he had to try to undo just because of his pure racism and hatred of Obama. Um, just about everything that Obama did he tried to undo, if he possibly could. Didn't manage to get rid of the Afford Affordable Care Act though, but he he would like to. And uh, maybe we'll do it this time. And um, yeah, since that time, Iran has been uh, enriching uranium and going ahead and, you know, possibly working its way towards nuclear weapons. Uh, if that was ever an ambition before, it was held in check. Uh, but since that time, of course, it's come a long way. And now Trump is uh, saying, oh, you know, well, he said he warned Israel not to uh, strike against Iran because it, uh, Israel is... But you can't tell Israel what to do, uh, especially when you just accept everything and you just continue to give them weapons. So it's a very um, scary situation there in the Middle East. Uh, Iran is not... A, Iran is a very powerful military country. Um, if they are brought into some kind of uh, war in the Middle East, it will be a disaster for everybody. In the planet, on on the planet. God. Let's get on with our game of Sudoku, shall we? Um, this is the Guardian's hard level game. I'm going to start with digit four, blocking up here, up here, and across there. Let's give a four in that square there. We've got eights going across here, across there, and up, and up there, so... The very first square of the grid will contain an 8. We've got 8s blocking down here and across there, so that will give me an 8 in that square there. 8 down here, 8 across, and across there means that that's an 8. 2 blocking across here means that this is a 2. We are limited to 3 digits only here, which is 1, 5, and 7. We've got 5 and 7 in the same column, so that will be our 1. Nine blocks both of those squares there. That has to be a nine up there. And we'll be left here with th two and three, I think. And we've got a three blocking there. So there's a three. And there's a two. Two now blocking up here and across there means that that's a two. And two, we can get our first digit in this in this uh, middle sector here by saying that 2 is in one of those squares blocking up 
finally we get around to getting a two there two blocking up here and across there there's a two and that I think is it because we'll have twos in two of those four squares there In fact, one and two, one and two, so that's a pair of one and two in those squares there. So what else do we know? We know this is one and two, so now we've got four blocking down here and across here and across there. So this has to be a four. Uh, again, we've got one and two here. Now we've got nine blocking down here and nine across there, so that will be our nine. Again, we've got one and two. Uh, what's left in these squares now then so five six seven is it so seven across there and seven across there there's our seven and I think we're left with five and six in those squares any help on that mm. Mm, not yet not yet I think now we've got nines blocking to the top. Gives us a nine there. We've got eight blocking this square, this square, and this square here. So in that row, there's our eight, and that's the last digit, eight. Might be worthwhile going through the digits and seeing what's left. Three blocking this square, three blocking this square, so there's our three. And so we have three and four across here, three and four across here, and three and four up there. So that's a pair of three and four. Does that help us? Yes, because now we've got nine across here and nine across there. So there's our nine. Uh, we've got nine going upwards up here and across there. I'll say again, three and four are in those squares. Uh, can we get anything else? Yes, we've got six blocking across here and six is in one of these two squares blocking across there. That will give us a six there.
four across here, four up there. Four down here, four across there, four across there. There's our four, and I've forgotten what I said this was. It was three and four, wasn't it? Yeah, threes. Yeah. Seven blocks this square, so in this column there's our seven. Just a uh, six, I believe, we need for this column. Let's fill it in. Six across there, six down here. That looks like a good number. That looks like it could finish the game for us. Six across here and across there. There's our six. Uh, so one five left. We know this was one and two, and this is going to be our five. Five across there puts five into that square. That has to be a one. One blocking up there puts one into that square. One across here gives us one there and two there. Two this way, that way, there's our two. Uh, the last number for this row is five, I think. And the last number here is three. Six blocking across here puts six into that square. Five blocks up here giving me five there, and this is a one. One up here and one across there. There's our final digit one. Let's see what's done. One, two, four, eight, and nine are finished. So let's see, click on the numbers that we still need, see if we can get them three. You know, oh, no, let's not do that. Let's just finish this block over here first. Uh, that would seem more logical, wouldn't it? Five goes there, and this is going to be uh, seven, I think. Uh, and over here, one more number, which is seven, I think. And the missing number here is a five. Five across here, across there, and five up here. There's a five. One more number to go there. Uh, six. Six blocking up here. There's a six. And a couple of sixes across there. There's a six. That's a seven. Seven blocking there. There's our seven. Seven back that way. There's a seven. Missing number there. Three. Last number to fill in as a three, that's our Guardian air quotes, hard level, end air quotes, Sudoku puzzle over for Friday. Take care. Bye-bye.